Hey everyone, this is DHTV and in today's video I have a full tutorial for you guys on how to use the iOS mail client on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now if you find this video at all helpful, show your support by hitting that thumbs up button. It really helps me out and it lets me know you guys like what I'm posting. Anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so using the mail application on an iOS device is very simple. Probably the hardest part of it all is setting it up, so we'll go ahead and do that first. So the first thing we need to do is open up the settings application. We then wanna scroll down to where it says mail, contacts, and calendars, and we'll give that a tap. And in this section, you'll see a whole bunch of different settings, but the one we're gonna focus on is add account. So from this section here, you can see you can add an existing account you may have with Google, Yahoo, or other popular services. And if you have one that's not listed here, you can use the other section at the bottom. So for this example, I'm gonna use a Google email, so a Gmail account that I've created specifically for this tutorial here. So we'll tap on Google. And you can see it's got a name, email, password, and description that we'll go ahead and enter in. So I went ahead and entered in my name, my email, and the password. And in the description section, I went ahead and called it test. Now this is a good section here to put in what the specific email is for, because if you add, say, two or three emails, you wanna know and distinguish which one is which. So once you've done that, we'll go ahead and tap next. So it went ahead and verified it. It also set up this section here where you can decide if you want your mail, your contacts, your calendars and notes to all be implemented into this. And honestly, I don't use any of these. So I usually turn all of them off except the mail section. I don't need anything else really moved into my email account. So we'll go ahead and tap save. It'll add that to the account. And you can see that the email has been created. Now, if you ever want to change any of the settings that we just went through, all you have to do is tap on the specific email and you can see that you can add your contacts, calendars, notes. You can also delete the account if you want to delete it. And if you ever want to change your description or the password to your email, just go ahead and tap on account and you'll be able to do that. So now that the email has been created, we'll go ahead and open up the mail application. So as you can see, it went ahead and pulled up all the emails within this specific account. Now, because this is a new email, I've only got four emails here because I just created it. But if you have an existing email account that's been around for a while, you'll probably have a lot more emails to play around with. So this is basically the inbox. You can see what section you're in at the top in the middle. And if you tap on mailboxes, you'll be able to access all the different email accounts you've set up. In this case, I only have the one, so you're only going to see the one. But if you have others, they will be there. So here's the the different sections. First off, we've got the inbox, which we just looked at. Below that is a VIP section, which is specific to this application and basically allows you to set up contacts that are very important. And this way, if they ever send you an email, it'll automatically be put into the very important section and help you not miss that email. Now, if you ever want to set up a VIP contact, all you have to do is tap on the add VIP section. It'll open up your contact list and you can add the person to your VIP list. Below VIP, we have the mailboxes section and this is pretty self-explanatory it's things you would see in a traditional email account so your drafts your junk folder trash bin and things like that nothing too out of the ordinary now taking a look at the edit section at the top right you'll notice you'll be able to edit various features built into the mailboxes so you can disable your inbox your vip you can add flagged and unread sections various things like that you can add mailboxes so if you want a secondary trash bin you can do so just by selecting it if you want to go ahead and add a new mailbox and name it whatever you want, you can tap on new mailbox at the bottom right. I'll just call this one one, two, three for now. We'll go ahead and set it to my mailbox location test. You can change that if you have other mailboxes or other things like this one has the Gmail box. So we'll leave it at test tap done. And now if we tap done here, you'll notice that everything that I changed will be available. So now I can actually put things in this one, two, three folder. And basically how you do that is very simple as well. If we go to the inbox here and we tap on one of the emails, you'll notice we have features at the bottom. So we'll start with this one on the left. This is basically a flag. So if you ever have anything that turns out to be spam, you can tap that and it'll send it to the spam folder. If you want to send things to a specific folder, in this case, we just created that 123 folder here. I can go ahead and send it to that one and it'll be in the 123 folder now. And in the middle here, you can archive your messages. This one right here allows you to reply to the message, forward it or print it. And then this one at the end here basically is to create a new email. So sending out a new email, which we'll get into in just a second. 
Finishing up here at the top, you notice there are two arrows. This is basically gonna allow you to scroll between your emails. So if you wanna go to the next email, obviously you would press the down arrow. Moving back up to the previous email would be the up arrow. And then to navigate back to your inbox, you would just simply tap on inbox. Now, just to show you that the email that I placed in that one, two, three folder actually went through, we'll go ahead back to our mailboxes section here and we'll tap on one, two, three. And you can see the Google Plus team email has now been moved to that. If I ever wanna move it out of this section, it's just as simple as tapping back into the email, tapping that folder section, and we'll go ahead and put it back in the inbox. And now it's been moved from the one, two, three folder back to the inbox. Now, if you ever wanna delete a folder that you've created, once again, back to the edit section here. And if we tap on it, you'll see there's a delete mailbox tab. We'll tap on that. We'll tap on delete mailbox and it's no longer a folder or mailbox in our email account. Now let's go ahead and send out an email. So what we wanna do is tap on this little tab here at the bottom right, which is pretty much available in any page. So whether you're in your inbox, in a specific email, it's always gonna be at the bottom right. And that's a great feature if you wanna send an email out quickly from any section of the email application. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And you can see at the top, it does say new message. You've got your to section, your CC, your BCC, you've got the subject section, and then right here, you've got your body which is where your message is going to go. So I went ahead and filled out some of the sections here to sort of create a test email to myself. Now, once you've put everything into your email that you wanna send, all you would do is tap send and it would go ahead and send it to the person you're sending it to. But if you wanna add an attachment, a photo or a video or something like that from your iPhone, you can do so. It's a little bit hidden, but it's very easy to access. Just go ahead and tap in the description section. When you see the circle, remove your finger, you'll get a little box that appears and we'll tap on the little arrow to the right. And you can see the second one here says insert photo or video. So we'll tap on that and it'll bring up our photo section here. From here, we can go ahead and tap on a specific photo. I'm just gonna take this Flappy Bird photo, select choose, and it'll go ahead and insert that into your message. So we'll go ahead and tap send once you're complete. It'll go ahead and send out the email to the specific person. As you can see, that one came to me. And you can see because there is an attachment, I'm actually being notified that there's an attachment there. Also, because this is a new email, you can see I've got a little blue circle beside the name of the person who sent it, in this case being me, obviously. So what I would do is just basically select and tap on that. But before I do that, I just wanna show you that when you do have the application on your iPhone, whenever a new email does come through to you, you'll see it and you'll see the amount of new emails that have arrived by the little number on the top. Very similar to like a text message notification and something like that. And you can also set up to have email notifications and things appear all in your notification center and also vibrate or ring when they appear as well. So we'll get into that in just a second. We'll go back into our email client here We'll tap on the new email and you can see that it does send you the email and it gives you the option tap to download the image. So if you want to download it, if it's from somebody you trust, you can go ahead and tap that and it'll go ahead and download the image. You can see it. You can tap and hold on the image and it'll give you options if you want to send it out in a message, mail, if you want to save it to your image folders and things like that, you can do so as well. So that's basically how you send out an email, add an attachment, and then also open the email and see when it's arrived. Now, when it comes to email accounts, organization is really key, and that sort of ties into the folder section when I showed you how to create a new mailbox and basically allow yourself to move emails to folders. If you tap the edit section in your inbox, you'll be able to move things around in bulk. So if you have a whole bunch of emails you want to move into one specific folder, you would just tap on them to create the little blue check mark, and you can mark them all. You can move them all to different folders or your trash bin or to junk, or you can archive them all. All right, now let's go back to our settings application and take a look at how it's gonna alert you when you get new emails, as well as some settings within it. So we'll go back to the mail contacts and calendar section here, and we're gonna focus on the fetch new data tab. So in this section here, you'll be able to control if your emails are going to be pushed to you as soon as they arrive when it's possible, or if you want it to set it to fetch, where this you can control every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or hourly that it'll be sent to you. And this way you can control and sort of save a little bit more battery life because it's not constantly searching for new emails. Now in this section, if you turn off push, you can actually set the fetch feature to manually, to hourly, to 30 minutes or 15 minutes. If you do set it to manually, it 
it. It'll only look for emails when you open the email client and then it'll refresh and sort of send all the new emails to you. If you set it to search every hour, it's gonna search every hour and so on and so forth. But like I said, if you have battery life issues, if you don't need to have it sent to you all the time, go with the fetch feature and just set it up manually like so. If you do, just turn on the push feature here and it'll constantly search for new data and new emails that have been sent out to you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some alert features you can use with the email client. So what you wanna do is once again, open up your settings application and then tap on notification center. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and find the mail application. It may be in the do not include section if you haven't used it yet and we'll go ahead and tap on that. Now, as you can see right now, I have it set to none. So this means anytime I get a new email, I won't know because I have my alerts off. But if you wanna be notified when you get a new email, you can set it to banners, which will appear at the top. If you set it to alerts, you'll get a nice box in the middle and you'll be able to see it that way. You can also set the badge icon to on or off, so the little image of the icon. You'll also be able to set the alert sound so you can set it to whatever sound you have on your iPhone right now. Below that, we have alerts, so you can have it show in the notification center. And if you enable that, when you pull the notification center down, you'll be able to see the emails that have arrived. You can have it show on your lock screen, and you can have it show a preview. So basically, this will give you a preview of the message in your alerts, banners, and notification center, so you can get a quick read on what's coming in, and if it's important to read it now, or if it's not, you can save it for later. And that's pretty much it for the alerts. So set those up, make sure that if you wanna receive the alerts, you take it off none and set it to banners or alerts. And then make sure that if you don't have the sound set up to set that up to a sound or vibrate or whatever you want it to be set up to. Anyway guys, that is it. Hopefully you found this video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, once again, hit that like button and show your support. Also, if you enjoy videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all about tech, how to's, tips, tricks, and tutorials. Also, if you have any questions on the mail client, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box down below. I answer all the comments that come my way. And if you have any general questions about tech, feel free to follow me on Twitter or on Google Plus and ask away. I answer everything that comes my way on those two sites as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.